Our last topic is waste segregation. Makati Met values the DOH Healthcare Waste Management 4th edition released is 2020. Trash bins in Makati Mets are polar coated. For non-infectious wet waste or biodegradable waste, such as leftover food, fruits and vegetables, these are all discarded in non-infectious wet waste or green waste bin. So for non-infectious dry waste or non-biodegradable waste, such as plastic, glass, bottles, packaging materials, these are disposed in a black waste bin. Infectious, pathological, and anatomical waste, such as gloves, cottons, including the sharps and ampules, should be discarded in a yellow trash bin. Genotoxic waste, or radioactive or nuclear waste, or items contaminated with radioactive materials, should be discarded in an orange waste bin. Recyclables or empty bottles should be discarded in a clear trash bins. Needles, syringes, and scalpel should be disposed first in a sharps collector. We have the portable and wall-mounted sharps collector before discarding in a yellow trash bin. So we have changes in color coding of waste bins based on the DOH Healthcare Waste Management 4th edition released this 2020. So before, we discard the sharps collector in a red bin. Now it is disposed in a yellow bin. So another change is the disposal of chemical waste, pharmaceutical, and cytotoxic waste. Before, it is discarded in a yellow with black bin bin. But right now, it should be discarded in a brown waste bin. So all chemical, pharmaceutical, and cytotoxic waste, such as empty bottles of betadine, iodine, disinfectant, expired adulterated drugs and medicines, used batteries, and cytotoxic waste should be discarded in a brown waste bin. The transition from yellow with black bin to brown bin is ongoing. This is an example of a waste management in a duffing area in a COVID-19 unit. So as you can see, we have a, a dedicated uh, trash bin for specific PPEs. So we have to observe strict waste segregation. And Request housekeeping to collect waste if three-fourths full to avoid overflowing.